Washington finishes unbeaten, 56-21 over Washington State. Mario Bailey down below, and Mario, congratulations on what a season you've had thus far. Uh, thanks a lot. You had seven catches, 72 yards, two touchdowns, and the Apple Cup's always kind of a special game, isn't it? Yeah, it was a lot different than the past three years. It was a lot more heated out there, but it was fun. This has been a special year in a lot of ways. Last year, you guys were in a position to still play for the national championship, and UCLA beat you. The boy here today, you weren't going to let that happen. No, nah, that was a goal we set this year, you know, not to be upset when we were supposed to win. And this year, we were supposed to win every game, and that's what we went out and did. Mario, you're a senior. Tell us what this means to you playing the last game here, not to come back and play anymore. Uh, it means a lot. Uh, I never thought it would go by this quick, and I never thought it would be this fun. But all the sweat and all the tears paid off tonight. Speaking of fun, you seem like you were having a good time out there. But uh, it was an interesting story going against between you and, and Hunter. Um, did you make a phone call to a friend of his before this game? Yeah, I did make a phone call to a friend of mine uh, in Idaho because uh, he kind of made some, some announcements to me, so I kind of made some back. <laughs> Were there any words down on the field between the two of you? Yeah, there was a lot of words, but after the game, we went over and hugged each other, so it was all just on the field. Have you had a chance, Mario, to think about Michigan at all? Have you guys talked about them? No, we, we, this year our goal was never to look past anyone, so now it's time to think about Michigan. Before, before it was just Washington State. Going back to the Rose Bowl, tell me what that must mean to you. Uh, it means a lot. You know, this year is going to mean a lot more because the game is going to be a lot more on the line, but it's just fun just being down there with the team. Well, congratulations. Good luck to you on January 1. Thank you. Join the rest of those seniors over there. Yeah, they're having announcements right now. Don James is introducing all the seniors to this Washington Husky faithful as uh, they close out their final game here at Husky Stadium. Well, Lynn, a final thought on that Rose Bowl game as uh, Michigan and Washington meet. Well, I think it's going to be a tremendous matchup when you look at the personnel down the line, offensively, defensively, on special teams. We have two complete football teams going in, both with a lot that they still want to prove. Washington wanting to prove that they're shooting our national championship team. Michigan saying, well, hey, we lost to Florida State, but we think we're the best team. Well, we'll find out January 1 right here on ABC. The final score, the Washington Huskies finish 11-0 on the year as they defeat the Washington State Cougars 56-21. And so the Huskies take this outstanding football team south to Pasadena to meet an outstanding team for the Big Ten, the Big Ten champion Wolverines of Michigan. It should be quite a battle. For Lynn Swan, I'm Gary Bender saying so long from Husky Stadium.